How you doing? I'm Rick and uh, this is Winder's Ranger. Wanted to do a just a it's not really a review I haven't really used it yet I've, I've opened it up tested it but uh, if you've ever used an umbrella have you ever experienced the the crappy umbrellas that you can pick up at your you know local Walmart store or you know box store and you get out and the first time you use it in a good gust of wind and whew, you know your umbrella is turned upside down or the the tines around the top and one of them pokes through and you know just junky umbrellas well I've been uh, been wanting to get a good one for a while and I just just tired of dealing with the crappy ones uh, that are typically in your box stores or your, your local gas stations or whatever so I did a little bit of research and I found this company called I'm not sure if I'm gonna say this right Davic uh, they're based out of New York City or New York anyway and uh, they claim that they're I think the website said that they're windproof. Um, I don't know if any, anything's really proof of anything, you know, waterproof, windproof, um, but probably wind resistant. Maybe they, whatever their system is, maybe it, it'll go back to shape, you know, without causing any major damage to the umbrella. But uh, this is it. Um, <clears throat> I ordered it, I got it a few days ago came in a really nice box. It had some literature in there, talks about the company and the umbrella. It also had a tag in there that you could fill out. It's, um, I think it was called a lost, um, lost uh, product warranty or something like that. Um, unfortunately, I threw mine out with the box when I got it and I wasn't really paying attention to where all the literature was and off it went and it's gone. In any case, uh, when I search this umbrella, and you have to forgive me, I, I've got to look up the model number. I, I forgot what this one was called. Again, it doesn't have it stamped on here, on here I don't think. It does not. Um, but I wanted something that I can use, say, for taking to, to the theme parks. You know, you get caught in the rain, especially with camera gear and stuff like that. You want to be able to film if you can, try to protect the camera gear from the, from the weather and the elements, but not get stuck wearing one of those stupid-looking ponchos where if you're in the Florida heat, you know, it's fine when it's raining, but, you know, if you're kind of in between, you know, the, it's not really raining, it's sprinkling, but it looks like it's going to rain again, and you got to go from point A to point B, and you're wearing that poncho, and it gets really hot. Uh, I would rather have a decent umbrella. So, that's what I, that's why I purchased this. Something that I can use to kind of protect the camera gear. It's a little bit easier to deploy. Something that's not too big to carry around if you go on one of the roller coasters or something, it's easy to stow out of the way. Even, uh, I think this one's even small enough that you might be able to jam it in your back pocket or something like that. I tend to wear the, the not so stylish cargo shorts a lot of times, so this would easily fit in one of those cargo short pockets. But it's got a nice, uh, a nice strap on it here. It keeps it closed. It's a, uh, I don't know what you call this style. It, it, it folds up and then the sides kind of come up into the middle there if you can kind of see how you know it folds up into the smaller shape but one of the things about this umbrella I watched a lot of YouTube videos or what YouTube videos I could find and none of them that I could find actually uh, detailed this particular umbrella and how big it was my concern was if it's one person you know the smaller umbrellas no big deal you know one one umbrella or one smaller size umbrella for one person is probably not too bad but say you have two people is it going to be big enough you know or is one person going to be partly out in the rain or you know what what have you so that was my concern with this one so we're going to open it up give you an idea of the size and i don't know if we can get this on camera too well uh probably about as good as it's going to get trying to look at the viewfinder here uh, I would say that's every bit or, or pretty doggone close to the size of a golf umbrella um, might be a little bit smaller but uh, it's got a let's see one two I'd say a two piece three piece shaft a nice pommel handle with a leather wrap on the end it's got a leather lanyard on the very end here and it goes up into the, uh, the, the, the tines or the arms that go up into the, the, the actually hold the, the canopy. Um, these pieces here are, are uh, I would call that C channel. And then it goes into the arm itself, which feels like uh, it's 
kind of hard to see here. It's also like a C channel, so it's having it bent into that C shape like that's going to give it a lot of uh, rigidity, a lot of strength. Uh, looks like probably a part number or uh, maybe a series number, you know, however, whatever series it was in, in the manufacturing. But uh, I would say going across, that's probably what? Got to be close to three and a half, four feet across, four and a half feet across. So for two people, yeah, I mean, it, it'd be tight. But uh, I'd say, I mean, it's not, not as big as what a golf umbrella would be. But uh, it's, it's pretty doggone close. The fabric, uh, it's a nice pliable fabric. I don't know how, you know, obviously I haven't used it out in the weather, so I, I can't, can't say how it, is, how it would do as far as uh, uh, holding up to the wind. Oh, there you go. So to retract that, you don't pull on it like I was just doing. You just push on the button and it folds back in on itself. And then you pull it back and it locks into the stowed position. And then I guess you just find your, uh, your strap here. And just wrap it back up. Find the Velcro. There. So yeah, that uh, it's a pretty nice umbrella. It was expensive. Um, I want to say it was a hundred and it was over a hundred dollars. I don't remember if it was somewhere between a hundred hundred and fifty. I think I don't remember exactly now. I'll have to look it up. Also has a nice little carrying case. I didn't don't think I showed that originally. But it remains to be seen how it actually does. We get some pretty strong thunderstorms here in Florida, so I'm sure that'll give it give a nice opportunity to see how it does. So I'll report back if I have any issues with it or you know what my final thoughts are maybe down the road six months or so. And I'll tell you how, how it, uh, it performed. So. so thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. If you're not already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. That'll help keep you up to date on future videos and adventures. Also, it's much appreciated if you hit that thumbs up button. That also helps out a lot. So with that said, I appreciate you watching. We'll see you all in the next video. And until then, take good care of yourselves.